Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220 KHTS. My, uh, your host, Fred Arnold, on the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm joined by Phil Beeks. Phil Beeks is- Morning, Fred. Yep, good morning. Beeks Insurance Services, and we're gonna talk about insurance today? No, we're not. No? Well, let's, let's talk. No, we're gonna talk about choosing a target market. Oh, there you go. Okay, this is a, I like This that. is a kind of a marketing discussion. I mean, my background is I, I grew an insurance agency from zero to about nine million in revenue. Wow. 85 employees and three offices out of control. Mm -hmm. So I, I sold that in 2001. Well, what if I wanted to talk about insurance? I, yeah. <laughs> you know a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, a little right? bit, yeah. yeah. So let's you talk bet. about choosing a, a, a target market. Yeah. One of the problems is in a lot of service businesses, and I think every, everything from law firms to uh, insurance agencies to restaurants, is they don't choose a target market. And they think, you know, I, we just got to grow, we got to pay the bills. You know, if the guy's got a pulse and a checkbook, he's welcome on board as a customer. And there's really three problems that come from that. Number one is you're putting a lot of effort out and a lot of money and time into websites and general marketing uh, activities that are drawing in a very diverse crowd, which means you're selling really to no one. If you're selling to everyone, you're selling to no one. A second problem, uh, which is, is more difficult, is that you are uh, really not t uh, tailoring your ser goods and services to one specific market. And when you don't do that, you have a tough time differentiating. And well, let's, you, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, sure. Because if, if I'm going to go to a heart surgeon, or mm -hmm. get, if I'm going to have heart surgery, I want to go to a heart surgeon and not a general oh. practitioner. Right. If, um, if I have cancer, I want to go to an oncologist that specializes in that kind of cancer versus a general practitioner or someone that maybe can, uh, focuses on a broader spectrum. So that's the concept. And when you look at the income of those, a heart surgeon is going to make a heck of a lot more money. Right. Because they specialize in one thing. Right. Really good at one thing. Uh, the example I use is an archer. Let's just say you want to be an archer. So you go to the an archer. Store, uh, bow and arrow guy. Got it. You go buy the bow you and arrow. You archers? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You can get lessons. You go in competition. Let's say you go through all that trouble. I've been missing a lot in my life. I don't know <laughs> what happened. An archer. Okay. So continue. Yeah. So you go to the competition. You've gone to this effort. You've invested all this money. You stand out there. You get your favorite arrow. You pull it back and you aim at what? Yeah, aim at a target. The target. That's what most of my audiences say. The fact is you're not aiming at the target. You're aiming at the bullseye. Mm. That little red center right in the center. And you get points for the rings around the center, mm -hmm. but you're only going to aim for that red dot. Mm -hmm. So why in the world would you go to the trouble of setting up goods and services that are, that are from your heart? You know, you're doing a good job. You make money at it when it works well. Mm -hmm. And just shoot it in the air. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's wasting your time. There are people out there that want to know exactly what you do, and that's what you tell them. So let's talk about how do you choose a target market. Let's say mortgage industry, mm -hmm. insurance agency, mm -hmm. um, any kind of service field. How do you choose that market to go after? Well, there's, there's, there's two ways. Um, I'll start with the intellectual part of it. You know, your favorite client is really described in two different ways, psychographically and demographically. Psychographically? You now, bet. that's a new word I've heard. Demographic, you understand, you know, yes. geographic region, age, size, price, whatever. The, those are things you could look up online mm -hmm. and learn, learn something about it. The other part is how they behave, how they think. I'm a big believer that we're hired for what we know and we're fired for who we are. And that's the same thing with clients. Wait, wait, we're hired for what we know. We're hired for what we know and, we're and fired. fired for who we are. <laughs> okay. If you don't differentiate in the marketplace, mm -hmm. typically people buy you out of what? Mm -hmm. Price. Mm -hmm. That's all they see. Mm -hmm. So you bring these guys in, and they're not happy with what's going on. This I, th I believe that's why customer service departments were developed mm -hmm. to handle the the angry customer base that shouldn't be there in the first place. Mm -hmm. So to choose them, the first thing I would have you do is is sit down and identify your favorite clients today. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a client, just a new business, profile your best friends. What are their demographics? What are their behaviors? Do they tell the truth? Do they, do they show up on time? Do they treat you like a trusted advisor as opposed to a vendor? You know, these are the people, if you profile them, they're the ones who will look just like the guys you want to go find. And let's go deeper with that. Um, college planning experts was on earlier today, and mm -hmm. Brian Safdardi and her team teach you the things that you didn't know you needed to know hmm. as a specialist in one thing. In fact, I often use this analogy, and I want to get your input on it. Mm -hmm. The iPhone came out, right? Sure. An amazing product, but we didn't know we needed all that, and they specialized in one thing. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that, the specialization and letting people know 
because a lot of people don't know that they don't know. Right. Most successful businesses do a couple of things really, really well. And oftentimes, because they have such a broad scope of things they're offering, they don't really look at who's buying what. Okay. So what I do is that favorite client I just told you about. I will go ask them of all of the phone services, of all of the insurance brokers, of all the whatever in the marketplace, why did you choose me? Mm -hmm. And over the years, why have you kept choosing me and not moved on? They're going to tell you in their words exactly why they needed that iPhone. Yeah. And I use their words, their exact words, write them down. Because mm -hmm. when I play back those words in my marketing pieces mm -hmm. and in my advertisement or discussions on the phone, who am I going to attract? Mm -hmm. People look and act just like them. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So let me ask you this. Sure. Uh, you um, been in insurance for a long time. Mm -hmm. Why are you so passionate about this particular topic? You know, I, uh, interestingly enough, I, I had my own agency for a long time, and mm -hmm. the way we grew was to hire young people and raise them up and teach them how to do this stuff and become professionals in their own right. And many of them are presidents of their own agencies today. Um, I discovered uh, later in life, as I sold the firm and moved on to run other companies and help and consult with firms, that I really am put on the earth to, to help people. And it seems to me that when people are helping folks, money flows. Right. When we're chasing money, it doesn't happen. And so that's why I'm passionate, is I've seen what happens when people take the help, use it, put it into implementation, and go. Right. Um, find someone to serve. Find someone to serve and go serve them with all your heart. Absolutely. And but the serve money, it in a way the means money it. will show up. Exactly. Yeah, the money exactly. will show up. Uh, those that want to reach you, um, Phil. I can be reached at area code 805-284-2626. We are building a new website because our website was nuked <laughs> when our host right. company was, was hacked. So um, call that number. Or Phil at insurancesalesleadership.com. So you're involved now more in the leadership side of it? I am. Yeah. I am. Half for the last 12 years. Yeah, Love well, it. Uh, thanks for coming in. Thanks for sharing Thank you for a having new me. perspective of that. Yeah, pick your target market and go with it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Phil Beeks. Phil Beeks, Beeks Insurance Services, and a leader in the insurance industry. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm your host, Fred Arnold, on AM 1220 KHTS.